Hi, welcome. This is another OG Duffy versus video. Now this time we're taking two new systems, two we haven't done before, okay? And we're moving it up a bit. We're going up to the 16-bit level where we've got two classic consoles from that generation. I own both systems, so I'm coming at this completely fairly, okay? Uh, and first off, we're looking at the Sega Mega Drive. An awesome, great, great console. Loved it. And the, uh, the obviously, Super Nintendo. Which, again, equally as good. Okay? Now, the bit of rivalry between both these consoles. But the game we're going to look at today is the mighty Street Fighter 2 by Capcom. This game was absolutely awesome awesome back in the day and i can remember it coming out uh, and I, I i bought the package with the say uh, super nintendo and the street fighter 2 package with it oh and it was amazing it's a game i just played to death it was perfect in all ways and you could play it and play it and play it you just didn't bore of it uh and unfortunately for sega they come a bit late to the game with this one in getting it crossed over i mean the uh the super nintendo version shifted 6.3 million cartridges now that is some sales alone and where it was packaged with the console as you can see this package in here it was a great package and it came boxed with it it helped sales of the SNES go through the roof. Uh, so it gave them a bit of an edge over the Mega Drive back in the day. And unfortunately, the Mega Drive version of this didn't follow till a bit later. I mean, we're probably looking at, I think it was about October uh, of the following year. So they had a good near 10 months, uh, um, Nintendo, over their rival. So that didn't help them. But anyway, let's look at both systems. Let's see how they both handled. And uh, uh, But Ridge, first off, let's take a look. This is the original arcade version of Street Fighter 2. So you see, this is the arcade version. Um, we'll be discussing this opening sequence uh, during the uh, the Mega Drive review. Looking at you, I must say. So anyway, this game was released in 1991, very early 91, uh, by the mighty Capcom, who produced some amazing arcade games back in the day. This was actually the follow-up, because obviously Street Fighter 2 to the original Street Fighter game, and was a vast improvement, and uh, this one really did set the standard, um, which made this one of the uh, world's well, most recognised game franchises that we know of. Um, this version here, as you can see here, the arcade game, we're seeing Ryu, uh, which was always my favourite character, and I love playing Ryu, and he's taking on Dao Sim here. Um, and, uh, well, of course, Ryu's going to win, he usually does. Um, but, this is the um, comparison that we're going to be using for the other two versions that we're looking at, the SNES and the Mega Drive. So we'll be looking at the Ryu versus Dao Sim uh, on both of them. Uh, as you can hear, it had a great little soundtrack, the sounds were great, and the whole system just worked brilliantly. Several characters, you could choose which character you wanted to play, and uh, all had their own special moves. And uh, what was nice about this game, I mean, it wasn't just a button basher. If you timed, timed and worked out the special moves, you could really give some and a good run for their money. A brilliant game all round. Okay, we've seen a short glimpse there of the arcade version, so we now know what we're looking for, okay? So you can now look at the two versions, the Mega Drive and the SNES, and we'll make some comparisons. And then, as always, you're going to get my verdict. So, without further ado, this is the Mega Drive version. So here we go, the classic Sega logo that we were so used to with the Mega Drive and uh, then throwing into the Capcom logo. Now a bit of Street Fighter 2 trivia fact here for you. Now this is the original um, screen that you get in the arcade machine and this appears on the Mega Drive version but not the SNES. But interestingly, there's two white guys fighting each other. Now when this was released in Japan, the guy on the left was actually black and the guy on the right was white but they changed it to two white fellas for the western market why i really don't know now the biggest difference here was the game modes you had some extra game modes in the mega drive version that you didn't in the snes um graphically it's pretty sharp nice bright contrasting colors there um maybe not as sharp as the SNES version but hey we haven't seen the SNES version yet and the sound on the Mega Drive version especially the speech sounds a little distorted but maybe I'm just being too picky I don't 
know. But as you can see here, on all versions we're looking at today, we're all going to see the same battle, so it gives a nice good comparison, and we're going to see uh, Ryu versus Dalsim on all three. Uh, so we saw it on the arcade, this is obviously the Mega Drive version. Um, so this was it, really. I mean, the elephant sounds as well as another one. Great way to judge the, uh, the sound between the two systems. Um, but both played very, very well. The only downside with the Mega Drive version was the controller. The original controller only had three buttons. So to switch between punch and kick, you had to press either start or select. Can't remember which. And uh, that was a real ball ache, if I'm being absolutely honest. So a bit of a downgrader on that one for the uh, Mega Drive, really. But great effort all round. So the mighty Mega Drive doing its thing there and doing it very, very well. But next up, Super Nintendo. Here we go. So here we go, the SNES version. Uh, as you can see here, the introduction was slightly different to the game. It didn't have the original arcade setup that the, uh, the Mega Drive version did. It would be controversial for the, uh, the, uh, the, the situation explained earlier. So anyway, if we take a look here, uh, game modes weren't as many as the um, Mega Drive version, but you can hear it already. Just play back if you need to. The sound on the SNES version was so much crisper. I think the graphics, the sprites, I, I don't feel the overall contrast and brightness of the game was um, was as bright, but I think it's worked well. Uh, the sound was better, and I think the graphics and, and the general gameplay uh, worked better as well. Um, the speech on this version is a lot clearer to the Mega Drive, and obviously the big point was the real negative with the Mega Drive was the controller. Obviously you only had the three buttons, you had to press the um, start select to switch between punches and kicks. The Mega Drive, uh, the, the, this version here, the uh, SNES version, didn't have to. You had six buttons, so it was just natural uh, and it worked very well with the control. So that's both systems there. Um, and uh, I mean, flick back and forth if you want to to compare the two, but overall, the verdict's coming up. Let's see what I think. Let's see what you think. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, here we go. Here's my verdict. So there we go, folks. We've seen both systems, and both systems handled brilliantly. Both great conversions, but it's time for my verdict. So, I'm going to go with the Super Nintendo version of this, and I'll tell you why. The controls, firstly. Um, with a SNES controller, you've got six buttons. And as you know, you have a, a light, medium, and high punch buttons. And you have light, medium, and high kick buttons. So you need six buttons to play this. But if you had the original uh, Mega Drive controller, you only had three buttons. So you have like low... Uh, medium and high punch but if you wanted to change the kick you'd have to press the select button to change them to kick and vice versa and go back to punch etc so for that reason alone it was vastly different um, and equally thinking with my heart a bit on this one because I had the SNES version first and it was a brilliant package I bought you know and as I said right at the beginning I've got the box package and I Again, my heart's coming into play on this. Uh, both great versions, but the SNES takes it, all right? So, if you agree, let me know. If you disagree, tell me why in the comments, all right? It's always good to have a nice, healthy debate. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate it. And hey, put a smile on my face. Makes me day. So, make me happy. All right, and I upload lots of new videos, um, typically weekly con uh, content. So uh, also on my channel, if you find my uh, video game hunting on an eBay and that sort of stuff, and my CEX hunts, uh, there's little competitions I do occasionally. So check them out and get in on early on them because you might win yourself a few retro games. Hey ho! Okay, thanks for watching. See you all soon. Look after yourself. Stay safe, people. Cheers. If you watch the video and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for watching.